What's up, YouTube? This is Forever Brandon. You can follow me on Twitter at underscore Forever Brandon. Today, I'm going to give you an album review of J. Cole's Born Center. Now, this album right here, let me just let me just tell you, this CD right here is amazing, man. Like the mu music wise and lyrical wise, like he is a genius, like genius. Like he's he's man, he's dope. How about that, he is a he man, he is a real good rapper. He's real, he's super talented. Uh, this album is much much better than his first album. His first album, I'm I'm always gonna love his first album. But this album is a must. Like you must buy this album. Um, I repeat, you could buy more than one copy for all I care. Just get it. Either way, it's out today. Pick it up. All right. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. I'm going to just tell you my thoughts of the album. This album brought out a powerful a powerful thing. It, it it brought out it brought out like it's real hip hop. It's real music. It's like you don't hear music like this anymore. Like this album this could have been man, this album should I would say this album should have been done probably a long time ago. <laughs> This, uh, stuff like this needed to be heard, man, some years back. This shit needed to be heard yesterday, let alone today. But anyway, this is a good CD. You, I think you all might enjoy it. Uh, if you, if you're not J Cole fans, I think you probably might probably like him with this CD. This is a really, this is a great, this is a good CD. So I'm gonna just tell you my favorite songs, uh, and just a little bit what I thought about them. Uh, the first song is Via Illuminati, um, <laughs> Via Illuminati, right? But no, honestly though, this is a great, great, great song. Uh, the beat, man, everything, man, it just keeps you bobbing your head to it. Uh, like this song is just really, really great. Like it's a good song, I think, and it's also the very first song on the CD. And it, it was a perfect, it's a perfect song to start off the album. Very. Um... Probably my second favorite song is Power Trip. Uh, like I've been a big fan of this song since it came out. Like I know it's kind of old. Well, you probably might think it's old, but it's it's a really great. This man, it's a really good song. I never get tired of it. Featuring one of my most favorite singers, Miguel. Like they, like this is not the first time that they ever done some stuff together. Uh, they actually done a couple of songs on Miguel's first album, uh, All I Want Is You. And like they are a great duet. Like I really like their duo. Um, like anyway, this song has just got a little. And I love the hook. Uh, got me up all night. Like I love the hook. I love the hook. It's catchy as hell. Um, trouble. Now trouble is a really really good song too. It gave me a Jay Z flow to it. A Jay Z and a Rick Ross type of flow to it. Real real good, real real good club joint. I think it's like a club joint, but it's a, it's a club you can it's a joint that you can just rock your head to, you know, if you want to listen to something. It's kind of bumpy. Uh, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away is man. I just fucking love this song. Like this song is dope. Like this song is real good. It's a real, 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 real good song. I think a lot of people probably might like this one. Uh, I don't know. I, as far as like single wise, I don't know if it should be a single, but the beat is real smooth and it's got a little old school flavor on it. It's got a nice old school flavor on it that I think a lot of people probably might get into. This song is amazing. She knows. Now this is definitely a club joint. This is a a, a a a joint that you can just dance to, you know, at a club, you know, popping bottles and you know whatever, whatever. Like this song is just good. Like you you really like that song. Now this song, this next song, is entitled "Rich Niggas." <laughs> I know, right? It's a little ghetto. It's a little ghetto, but you know what? This happens to be one of my most favorite songs on this album. Let me tell you, I give this song a ten out of ten because the beat, the melody, is off the chain. Like he really, really, really did his fucking thing on this song. Like 
this is a good song. I really think this is. I really think this song should be more probably his next single. But I, but as far as like his next single, um, I don't want to get into it right now. Uh, but I heard uh, it's a uh, crooked smile, which you all probably heard. But rich niggas like this song right here is dope. Like this song is good. Like the beat, the melody, uh, everything. Uh, uh. Man, I just really love it. I like it. It's got a nice smooth, a nice smooth beat to it, and it's real laid back. And I, I probably replayed this, repeated the song a thousand times today, or oh, and yesterday. But yo, one of my most favorite songs, uh, Forbidden Fruit. Now, I'm gonna tell you about Forbidden Fruit. Kendrick Lamar is on the song, but I feel. Like Kendrick Lamar should have had a verse on the song because he was just in the hook, and I felt like, and I was listening to the song and I was like, okay, I, I, I'm hoping I can hear Kendrick on the song, but either way it go, uh, it's a great song. Uh, but too bad Kendrick Lamar wasn't on a verse. I felt he should at least have one verse in it, but he was just in the hook. But you know, I love Kendrick Lamar as well. Chaining Day. Now this song gives me a summer feel. Like it's something about the song that's real smooth and laid back. It's a summer song. It's a song for the summer. Like a lot of people, I feel a lot of people might like it. Crooked Smile. Ha ha ha. Now this song has my my girls TLC. Like they really did their thing on. Uh, they really did their thing on the song. But this song, it, this song definitely needs to be played on the radio. And as I've stated before, it might be the next single. I'm not sure. But this song is a, a great song. It teaches you to love yourself, I think, in some type of way. It teaches you to be yourself. You know, be yourself. You know, don't be nobody else. Be happy the way God made you. Um, Let Nas Down. Now, this song was a deep song. Now, uh, as far as what I know, he's pretty much saying like he tried to let Nas hear one of his songs and Nas turned it down and he let Nas down so you know Nas is also one of my most favorite rappers of the 90s but I guarantee you like this is a good this is a good song I, I think it probably should be a single as well uh, a lot of people should I think a lot of people might like it I think a lot of people might like it Miss America now this song is old but I'm glad that he still put this song on the album because actually this song came out last year. But I've been I've been loving this song ever since I heard it. So it's a great song, Miss America, Petty Thoughts. Like I really like that song. Um, niggas know that was a good song too. Um. But I think that it sounded kind of like something that would have been on his previous album. Uh, it's, it's a good song, as but you know it, it sounded like it could have been on his other album. I don't know if he ran out of ideas or something, but I I, I liked it that song. That was a cool song. Um, Sparks Will Fly. Now this is the last song of the of the deluxe edition, which is truly yours. Now this. Now, mind you, this uh, CD has two discs to it. The first disc is uh, Born Center Standard, and the deluxe uh, disc is Truly Yours 3. Now, they're both in the same, you know, they're both in the same pack, but it's a two-disc thing, uh, but it is a great CD. Um, I just really, 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 really wish J. Cole the best. He's one of my most favorite rappers. And J. Cole, if you're watching this, bruh, please follow me on Twitter because you are one of my most favorite rappers. And you actually, ever since your mixtapes, you've been one of my most favorite rappers. Now, with that being said... Please, 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 please pick this album up. If you haven't heard it already, please just pick pick one or two copies of it. It don't even matter. Deuces.